and I am a certified personal trainer through NASM, NCCPT, and ACE. And I am here today to show you guys a full workout. We're gonna be doing arms and a little bit of abs. And so without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna be taking game day. There's a new formula, Man Sports has reformulated game day. That's what new formula means. Uh, but it also has a new tropic now. So one of my favorite products from Man Sports has been BrainBridge for a long time. I tell people it's basically like brain vitamins, but it has natural caffeine and it's just a really steady energy boost. So instead of feeling jittery and cracked out, you feel it just feels good. All right, so now that we got our pre-workout, let's get started. Our first exercise is gonna be dumbbell skull crushers. So we're gonna lay down. We're actually gonna do these on an incline bench just because our next exercise is also gonna be done on an incline bench. Everything we're doing today is gonna be four sets. We're gonna try to hit eight to 12 reps. I love this rep range because whenever you're lifting, if you're hitting 11, 12 reps, you can go up in weight and then try for a weight that you can only hit like eight to 10 with. And then eight to 10, a couple weeks later, becomes 11 or 12, and then you can up the weight again. So uh, our first exercise, dumbbell skull crushers on the incline bench. We're gonna focus on really keeping our elbows in as much as possible. We wanna aim for right behind our head. So we keep our elbows back almost like around our eye level, and we're gonna bend back behind our head, straighten our arm without moving the position of our elbow. So you don't wanna bring your arm forward every single time. Keep your elbows in the same space and only just focus on bending that arm, straightening it out, and really squeezing your elbows in and squeezing your triceps as you perform the movement. Our next exercise, which we are super setting, is gonna be spider curls. So we're gonna flip over. Our chest is gonna be above the bench so we're not squishing the goods. And so we're gonna do our spider curls. Again, make sure to keep your elbows out in front of that bench and we're not, we're not moving our elbows. We're really just focusing on squeezing, pumping as much blood into that muscle as we can and moving our arms rather than our elbows. So we're gonna do eight to 12 of those. Um, I like to stay a little bit on the higher rep range, so 10 to 12 uh, with biceps just because I feel like I get a better pump. In between these supersets, you can rest like a minute to 90 seconds, 60 to 90 seconds, and then go back and start the superset again. Your muscles don't really need that much rest because since we're doing triceps and biceps here, your triceps are resting while you're working your biceps, and then your biceps are resting while you're working your triceps. So just give yourself a minute, maybe 90 seconds to catch your breath, and then go ahead and start back with your next set. So our next superset, the first thing we're gonna do, since we are trying to work in a little bit of abs, we're gonna do planking tricep kickback. So we're gonna have a dumbbell next to each hand. We're gonna go into a full plank on our hands and then we're gonna pick up one of the weights, go ahead and perform the tricep extension or the kickback. Um, just lift up our elbow above our back, straighten our arms, squeeze that tricep, and then we're gonna place it back down, put our hand back on the ground, and do the other side. What you really wanna look out for on these is that you're not moving your hips, so it's gonna be really easy to kinda of tilt your hips every time you pick up a weight just to make it easier. But in order to keep our core fully engaged, we're gonna really focus on keeping our hips square to the floor, not letting our butt tip, and uh, keeping our belly button pressed up to the ceiling above us while we do the movement. Then we're gonna stand up and we're gonna do alternating uh, bicep curls. So we're gonna go up into a hammer curl, rotate and go down with a supinated curl and then we're gonna switch. So we'll go up in a supinated curl, rotate down in a hammer curl. And we're actually gonna add something in. You don't have to do this, but this is optional just to add a little bit of core engagement. We're gonna do half of the reps on one foot just to balance, and this is actually gonna make us engage our core a little bit more. We're gonna try not to lean any direction, and then we're gonna switch legs and do the other half on the other leg. So just balancing this adds, it just makes the move a little bit more advanced and adds a little bit of core engagement. And our final exercise, our last superset, we're gonna do uh, easy bar, narrow grip curls. So we're just focusing on really keeping our elbows in front of our body, squeezing that bicep as we lift the weight up, not letting our elbows drop back behind us because after that, after our eight to 12 of those, we're gonna immediately go into drag curls. So we're gonna kind of angle our body forward. We're gonna pull the bar up our body so it's dragging on our bodies, hence the term drag curls. And we're gonna do eight to 12 of those, basically just to get a little burnout for our biceps. Um, and then we'll rest 60 to 90 seconds. You might need to rest a little longer for these since both exercises are hitting the bicep. And then we're gonna go ahead and repeat the movement. We purposely made this video all dumbbells because I know that a lot of gyms are still closed down. So we wanted to make sure that it's something that everyone's able to do. But if there's another video that you want to see or you need help with something, just let us know, put it in the comments, make sure to like this video, subscribe, 
to Man Sports channel, subscribe to my channel, it's Anna Quinn Fitness on YouTube and then also on Instagram. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks y'all, bye.